Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I felt like I needed to tie something up here. I have been reading uh, this for uh, from both uh, my anchor and transitioned it to uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, mostly because of the fact that uh, Anchor didn't allow me to do more than 30 minutes. Uh, even though I was able to download or upload uh, audio from my YouTube for that's longer than an hour. But I think as far as recording it on Anchor, they only give you 30 minutes. Uh, anyway, I haven't, uh, I, I put the majority of the rest of uh uh textbook mmt on my patreon um on because of the fact that i felt that uh youtube it wasn't uh, allowing uh for my content to be uh to be fully shared and at first i was thinking that okay if i put this on my on my patreon i could at least see who's willing to learn it by charging like say a dollar you know some to that effect uh i i was successful in getting at least one person so i thank that person very much however i then realized that i want since i'm doing this and i want people to learn what modern monetary theory is because the old school macroeconomics the uh, monetarism slash keynesianism uh, is still being taught in today's uh, macroeconomic uh, textbook or uh, colleges programs whichever you want to call them princeton harvard you know places like that and having to be always uh not really on the defensive but more or less like just like letting people know about about the differences between like all the above MMP has actually opened my mind in regards to like looking back in history of currency, fiat currencies, what country started it, what country is going with it, what country stopped it, you know, stuff of that nature has also uh, opened up the avenues of really looking at other countries on how uh, they conduct uh, exports, imports, prices for their exports, uh, exports, I mean, uh, prices for inputs, uh, inputs, yeah, imports and stuff of that nature. It also allows me to look at uh, the United States' own input export uh, input. Damn, you're saying that import export um, deficits or surpluses, you know, stuff of that nature, and it allows me to look at all those and be and keep up on on that. Um, so I'm thankful for MMT in that regard, as well as uh, teaching me that um, that. Since the United States is a sovereign currency country, it only needs natural resources and people who know functional finance to uh, vote on those things that not only are deflationary, like Medicare for all, uh, pretty much everything that, that keeps us living as a human right and uh, not as a commodity to be exchanged for uh, dollar bills in, like Medicare for all does. And... Um, and housing and education and stuff of that nature. Um, if those things were treated as human rights and obligated as a, a, a in the, at a spending level, there'd be almost there would be no debt in regards to personal debt in regards to like education, medical debt, stuff of that nature. And instead of this country being based on debt. Uh, in regards to loans and stuff of that nature, uh, people would the wages would be up, uh, education would be up. Um, yeah. So, anyways, my whole point of this whole rant is, uh, I wanted to add, I wanted to add this to RP universities, our university, um, and. I'm almost actually done with the book. I'm on chapter 28 at 33. Um, I think I did the first 15 or so here on YouTube, and I put them back up. Uh, and I have an audio version of those same things on my patreon.com slash you down with MMT. And so that's the reason why I haven't done one, is because I want to make sure that I have, since there's another 
uh, reason for actually doing them um, other than trying to teach as much as I can to those who allow me to teach them um, to have that at a broader scale on uh, in real progressives. But uh, they brought up a, they brought up a, 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 uh, a copyright point. So I reached out to those who authored a book. I have yet to hear from them, so I, I haven't done um, any more reading. So um, I am going to be doing some other things in regards to that. Um, but yeah, as of right now, the textbook MMT is kind of up in the air until I know for sure what's going on in regards to that and that... Um, we can actually start teaching that uh, real progressives actually has a lot more to offer than just the possibility of a, of a universe and university. Um, and so obviously real progressives is like one of the many places you can get uh, MMT materials, books, uh, interviews, you name it. They have it on, on their website, real progressives.org uh, here. Uh, I try to teach through, my debunking um show uh for some reason my my background uh my background is now this i don't know why uh but i have yet to change either way so anyway so that's i, I wanted to kind of like uh, clear that up let people know why i haven't done that in, the, in, the, in a little bit uh so I will be continuing to do other stuff in regards to monetary theory uh either reading uh, going going back to reading post uh, authored by those that are more more than experts on than me on monetary theory, but um, also kind of still do debunking like I've done with the Mises Institute and the uh, and also uh, I've realized that I can actually directly upload these to Facebook, so that's I've I've been uploading them directly to Facebook as well. So check them out on my on my Facebook uh, page, Calvin Taylor there. Um, and also I'm going to start posting up here again too. But I have 472 subscribers. I get an average of five. So if you if you like my stuff, please view it, like it, comment on it, share it. Otherwise, it just tells me now that there's no demand for this kind of stuff, and I'll just continue putting this on you on uh, Facebook. Um, or let me know if you're just not interested in this kind of stuff, because I'm open to changing subjects, as you probably noticed as far as my, my past, uh, um, my past names on my YouTube channel and stuff of that nature. I will not be going back to socialist and I will not be going back to uh green party in regards to news. Um, I'm kind of done with them in regards to that. So, and besides they're, they're too, they're too entrenched with Democrats either way. Anyway, uh, that's what I got to say for now. That's why I just wanted to tie that little bow up, I guess you could say. This will also be going on my Patreon as well for my my Patreon user. Um, but thanks for watching. This is my face. I haven't shaved in a while. Um, anyway, so peace out for now. And uh, go to realprogressive.org for interviews, articles, books, merchandise. You name it, they have it in regards to that. And also... As a friendly reminder, I guess, um, I still do have a fundraiser up for Real Progressives. Uh, go out to Calvin Taylor and donate. I'm, I'm $20 away from the $200 mark. So someone out there, if you can, please, you know, put aside five bucks or 10 bucks or 20, whatever, you know, uh, if, if you can, please do. Anyways, you guys have a good Sunday, I guess. Peace out for now.